Welcome back, all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli1961, for old gamers never die. And hey, I'm back on Middle Empires. And I thought I'd put together a quick video on how to farm. Just the basics, just to get you started, but hey, it's an important skill. You wanna have a few crops to get started with, and it's not really hard, you just gotta know how to do it. So let's go downstairs and grab the supplies we're gonna need. Okay, to farm, you're gonna need a few recipes. And in the first section, workbench and tools, you're gonna need to get over to here in cultivation. So when you get that, you're gonna get the hoe, you're gonna get a crude planter, water, barrel, fertilizer, and the stone mill. You're really gonna need all these to get yourself started. You'll get better planters, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got things like flax so you can make linen early on instead of just going out there and hacking and slashing plants down and try to get it. So to make the crop plot or crude planter, you're gonna need wood ash, branches, sand, and rubble. So we should have all that in here. Let's see. We have rubble, we have sand, wood ash, and branches. Okay, and to make it, we just need to go down here in your inventory and we'll craft one. I've already got a few planters out there. We'll add this one to it so you can see how it works. Here's my little garden spot here. By the way, if you put a warrior on the stables, you can't get them back out. You can feed them. Make sure he eats. But you can't get him back off of the stable. At least I haven't been able to figure out. How. So just, just so you know, you might want to not do that. All right, so I've got a few crops growing in the planters I have out here. This one ready to go. Still making. I got some soybean growing, I got some wheat growing, and I've got a mix of wheat and soybean in this one. You can mix and match whatever you want. You only get to plant four plants in each planter. As you get better planters, you'll be able to put more crops in there. But just to get started, like I said, you're gonna need flax. So you might as well go ahead and bite the bullet and put these down. Easy to collect them, you just hit E and you'll pick all this stuff up and you should get your soybeans. You're gonna get some seeds. You might get better quality seeds and you're gonna get the type of stuff you planted. So we got some soybean, we're gonna grab some wheat. All right, so we're gonna get our planter out. Uh, where are we at? There we go. And we're gonna plop that down right next to this one. When you first put down a planter, it's going to come ready to go. It's got full moisture. The soil porosity is at 100% and all your fertilizer is going to be at 100%. So all you've got to do is plant stuff. And to plant, all you need to do is you need to have seeds in your inventory. We've got rice seeds. We've got barley seeds. What do we have? Soybean, wheat. I was looking for some flax seeds. I guess I don't have any on me. All right, we'll plant what we have which is let's plant rice. We can do that. So it'll put up blue. Just click once, twice, three, four times. Now that will grow into rice plants that we'll later pick. As your plants grow, you're going to, if you hover over it, you'll see, there we go. The moisture will reduce over time. The soil porosity, each time you plant and harvest is gonna to go to zero. And then you've got your different fertilizers and things like that. So honestly, if you rotate your crops, so you have something different planted in each one of these every time you go, you're not gonna need a heck of a lot of fertilizer to keep it going. But you will have to manage your porosity and you're gonna to have to manage your water, but neither one of those is hard. So let's go in here. Let's, did I get my... Oh, I think I got my hoe. I got my hoe. Okay, we're going to make a water barrel. What do we need for that? We need some straw rope. I should have plenty of straw rope. Let's see. Probably got it in here. Yeah, there we go. Straw rope. All right, and we're going to make the water barrel. It's made in your inventory. One for now. Let's go ahead and do two. To fill the water barrels, all you need to do is put them in your hot bar, go to the water, 
and tap on that number. And then there's filled one, and now I just filled two. Then you go back to your inventory, you're gonna have two full barrels. Put that back in your hot bar again. Go on over here. You're not gonna have to do this very often for the crude planters. You pretty much kind of let them go on their own. I wish rainwater would fill them up, but it, it doesn't really do that. So uh, get to the right. Come on, there it is. So right now we have 129 moisture. So we're gonna hit seven is my where I've got this on my hot bar. And we're gonna pour some water out and you'll see it went up. up. All right, so there's one barrel done. Let's go ahead and put the other barrel in. And that pretty much uses up the two barrels that we had. But like I said, there's water already in these, so you should not have too much problems getting in. We can always go back and water them later. You'll get seeds as you're harvesting grass and bushes. You're gonna get low quality seeds and you may get occasionally on a common seed. You also will get some common and higher level seeds as you harvest your crops. But in these planters, the only thing that'll plant is the low quality seed. But even then, so you can't plant it right now because our soil porosity is zero and you have to have at least 30 to plant these low quality quality seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab out our hoe and we're going to start packing this up. And what we want to do is you can see the numbers there where as we're chopping on this, we're going to start raising our porosity so that we can actually plant some seeds here. And it looks like you're breaking your stuff, but you don't, you're not, you're fine. Just get it up to 30% at least. There's 31. Okay, and then we can go in and let's see. So we have low quality and common. So if we get the common, you'll see you can't plant it here. It won't, it, it's gonna be red. But if we go to the low quality, those will plant here. Okay, so we got two of those. That's all the seeds I had for it. So let's plant something else. We've got rice already in. Let's get barley. Plant a couple barley seeds. And then over here, we're gonna to have to do the same thing. Each one is gonna to have to be at least to 30% before it's gonna allow you to plant any of the common seeds in these crop plots. Crop plots, I, I'm used to playing other games, you know. So they're crop plots to me. We're gonna get this all act up, okay? And now we're gonna plant some, oh, let's see, what do we wanna plant? Barley seeds, we got barley, let's do wheat. Okay, we can plant a wheat seed there, wheat plant there. Now, if you didn't chop up the old plants, it's not gonna let you plant over top of them. So you're gonna have to do that. Okay, we're good. All right, and now we can plant, what else do we have? Some more rice. Let's just do, we're gonna do this other wheat and then we're gonna do some soybeans. And there's that. All right, last one. We're gonna chop this one up. Till the soil as it were. Now, if you're playing on a boosted server, depending on what settings they may have, it will probably take less time for your crops to grow, but it doesn't really take a lot of time for them to grow. There we go, we're at 37. Let's go ahead and plant more barley. There we go. Now, why you need to do this? Well, as I said, you your flax you need for your linens if you want to make linen but also you got this grinder the stone mill that's also in this same skill level when you get the crop plots you're going to be able to make this as well and you're going to want this for things like grinding up your soybeans so if you put your soybeans over here to make things like fodder for your rabbit pen and if you want to make oil you drop your soybeans in here and the crafting material and you can craft the soybean case now i like to make sure i'm on the machine that i'm using so i get as much xp and proficiency gain as i can and help make the quality as best i can make it so let's go we're going to make 36 of those and here we go it's not the most glorious part of the game <laughs> but it will provide you with what you need to make 
wheat flour, which you're going to need to make better quality food. It's going to provide you with the items that you're going to need if you're going to put in a rabbit pen or a fox pen, which you'll need if you're going to tame boars and wolves and tigers and all that kind of stuff. So you start off small and this is one of the key features of it to make sure you can feed the animals the food that they like to eat. So one of the things you want to make sure that you're doing, and I said this in a couple of my videos already, is you need to make sure that you start a guild right from the very beginning. Even if it's just you that's going to play, I've got Varduk in mind, and we've got a few other OGs out here playing on official. And if you're interested in joining our guild, hey, go through the Discord. The link is in the description of the video. Let me know you're out there and that you want to join up. You can apply and uh, we'll get you in here and we can build a force of nature if you'd like. But anyway, if you're going to play solo, make sure you build a guild. From the very start, do that because to get to some of the cool tech, you have to have a guild and you have to have guild progress. So just a few things you're going to want is this boundary marker and the workshop, which you'll need to build a boundary marker, the, get the depot, cross server teleport. If you're going to do cluster server, you're going to need that. And if you want to play on the battlefield, you're going to need that. But the thing that you're going to want to get to that you can't get to any other way in agriculture is these better planners. You get your common planner, and then you get your exclusive planner. You have to have a guild set up to even get to this tech tree to be able to make these. So that's a common planner that'll be there when your guild level is two. You get to guild level to three, you can make the exclusive planner, and these will hold more crops. The other thing you'll be able to do is common test farmland when you get to guild level three, and fertile test farmland when you get to level five. These will be exponentially more crops that you can grow but you have to have a guild you have to be able to progress through your guild tech to be able to get to them you can't get to them through your normal recipes for your single player so make sure you get your guild started like i said even if you're going to be solo you want to make sure you have that so that you can progress in quite a few things whether it's trade whether it's farming whether you want to build siege engines whether you want to build the cool things like the flamethrower fire bomber battering ram you know those kind of things are going to be in your guild tech it's not going to be in your solo play tech so make sure that you're getting that guild set up early on so you get all the experience points in there as you're playing and you can go ahead and level up and get these cool new things in the game all right well i get you wow that's a close up thank you for coming out and watching the video hope you learned something hope this gets you started on your farming adventure and you know get your get your people fed and your animals fed <laughs> oh that's way too close <laughs> anyway i really do appreciate you coming out watching the videos don't forget to leave a like if this helped you out any and hey if you're interested in hanging out with the OGs, the link to our Discord is in the description of the video. Hey, come on by, introduce yourself, join the Discord, join some conversations, play some games with the OGs. We've got several servers up there right now. We're, we're kind of rotating servers in and out that um, people are wanting to play on, but right now we've got Pal World, we've got Enshrouded, we've got Conan, Savage Wilds, and Exile Lands, both pretty heavily modded. And we've got a Myth of the Vampire server. No! So come on out and play with us. All right, well, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for coming out y'all take care stay safe be good to each other and until next time this is yuli signing out